Hello, I'm Moses, an educator like you. In a situation where some of our students are with us in class while others at home engage in home-based learning, do you wonder how we can cater to the needs of both groups without having to repeat too much work? Or in a situation when school is closed and all our students are learning from home, how can we prepare lessons that are more engaging for them? In this video, I'll share with you how we might use an iPad to do this. Let's first look at the preparation that we need in order to teach with the iPad. Most of us would have our decks or PowerPoint slides and worry they would create them all over again to use on the iPad. Did you know that you can easily load your PowerPoint and Word documents into an iPad? Let's say we have saved our files in Google Drive. When you open, look through our folders, find the files that we want. In this case here, we're going to do a lesson on center of gravity. And you will find open in. And in this case here, we'll be using Keynotes to open up our deck of slides. And you see that our deck of slides is already on Keynotes and that's really easy. And uh, the fact that it's on Keynote now, you actually can use some of the features to further enhance the lesson. And one of them is animation. So, for instance, I want to animate this object over here. Right. So let me select it first. Choose animation. I want to add action and I'm going to create a path. And I want this point for center of gravity to have to land through here. Yes, you can see the preview. And that will make it quite interesting for the students when I'm actually playing it. Right, when I tap. There you go. Right, so there are preparations like that that I could add in so that I could make the lesson even more engaging. When we present our lessons, we do not simply just flash our deck of slides, but we will verbally explain and perhaps even annotate as we present. Our learners at home will miss all these. We can easily record what we are presenting as we are presenting so that we do not have to repeat ourselves nor do we have to pre-record before the presentation. Let's see how we do this. For this, we are using a feature called screen recording. But before we can use screen recording, we need to set it up. So we first go to the settings and then we look for control center and look for customize. And if you look for more controls, you should be able to see screen recording and that's where you add it. And after you've added, when you call down the control center, you notice that the screen recording button is now there. And if you press and hold, you can also ensure that your microphone is on. This way, it will record not only what is on the screen, but also your explanation. With that, we are ready to start our screen recording of our presentation. With screen recording, we can record both my explanation as I make the presentation and also any annotations that I make in my presentation. Let me show you. Say this is what I want to use for my presentation. I will call out the control center. I tap on the screen recording button. It will do a countdown and it will start recording already. So whatever I'm saying now will be recorded into this video and then as I move on to the next one, I want to annotate as well. So I'll tap, say I use a green arrow to indicate the force of gravity. I use yellow to indicate the distance to the pivot so I can talk about torque. I can even have a laser pointer right, to explain and move and that movement will be recorded as well. And when I'm done, I will drag down the control center again and I stop the recording and the video is already in our photo album and now when I play it, so whatever I'm saying now will 
be recorded in two. You can see for yourself that everything that has been recorded is exactly what happened just now. We can also easily do some minor edits. Tap on edit and you see that when you drag on the two ends, you can actually crop it. Especially the beginning part where you actually have the screen recording button, you could trim that off very easily. With this, if you have a very long clip, you can also make it shorter. And then when you press done, you can save it as a new clip. This way, you can make a long clip into many shorter clips. With that, you have got many clips that you can send out very easily to your students and in fact, you might even want to consider having differentiated learning by sending different clips and different activities to different students. If our learners have access to an iPad, they can also use screen recording to easily demonstrate their learning. In the next video, we will take a closer look at the pedagogy of home-based learning. Together, we can better tap on technology to help our students learn better and for us to work more efficiently. Join us at ipadforlearning.sg